Hey Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your reading for October 8th through the 14th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like you're going to be relieved um, about something that you're going to find out this week. It feels like you've been going through quite the trial. It feels like you've been dealing with, you know, some sort of um, situation here that feels like it's making you due for a vacation. It feels like you've been dealing with something um, and you're kind of getting ready to say, you know what, I'm done. It's it's over with. I feel like you're going to be receiving almost like the final verdict this week. So this page of swords is kind of representing that final word, the final, um, you know, decision, something that maybe you've been waiting for for quite some time. It feels like you're finally going to be able to breathe easy um, and almost kind of like take a break from this situation. We have Justice, which is Libra, the Hanged Man, uh, which is Pisces, and Four of Swords. So I feel like Four of Swords is that feeling of, oh, okay, I can breathe now. I don't have to deal with this anymore. I can take a break. I can take a vacation, right? It's like you're being set free from something that was almost making you feel like you, you know, you couldn't, um, like you couldn't move. Um, so the hanged man is both representing the current energy, like feeling like you're stuck, but then also, uh, once it's done and over with, you can kind of just hang loose, right? It feels like you can just, you're, you can relax your muscles. Like there's something about tension that's kind of coming through here. Like you've been feeling tense or you've been feeling, um, you know, kind of like, like you could hear a pin drop with the, um, the energy surrounding maybe you and someone else, right? It feels like this kind of weird um, situation. The justice represents the balance coming through, but it also feels like there could be some sort of mediator, maybe someone else kind of helping, um, you know, maybe someone helping you kind of get through this. So I'm not really sure. Let's see if we can get some context because this is definitely throwing me for a loop. So let's go ahead and clarify that hanged man. All right, so we have three of wands definitely moving forward and moving on from something here also being clarified um, by the chariot so we have the chariot the nine of swords and queen of wands it feels like you'll be able to go back to doing you uh, feeling like yourself doing what you were planning to do in the first place it feels like you were dealing with some sort of detour um, some sort of block right that was kind of getting in the way of your plans now it feels like it's going to be removed something is dealing or being dealt with at this time. I feel like Nine of Swords is the fact that maybe this has been going on for longer than you anticipated and maybe you even um, to some degree felt defeated at one point. You thought it wasn't going to end, right? Maybe you were having trouble sleeping, you were anxious or worried, right? It feels like there was a lot of emotions coming through from the situation, but and now we're kind of seeing the other side of it, right? It feels like this is the week of breaking through this, seeing yourself almost step into um, a completely different energy um, and just kind of feeling excited and ready to take your life back into your own hands because that's really what it feels like. So this Queen of Wands is you saying, I'm back home, right? I'm back to doing what I was going to do. I'm back to feeling like myself, doing um things in my own way, not feeling restricted, not feeling bound, right? The chariot moving quickly, moving forward in a particular direction that has nothing to do with the past or what the situation um, was making you feel. So really it's about breaking through, breaking free um, and being free. Let's clarify the justice. All right, so we have a Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Almost kind of makes me feel like someone is your knight in shining armor, kind of just, you know, carrying you away from this mess. But this also could just be about you saving yourself. Like, I don't think this necessarily has to be one particular person that is sweeping you off your feet. It feels like you are finally finding your feet again. It's like you're able to... Um, keep it going. I also feel like Knight of Cups is really needing to give yourself some credit here. Um, you could have dealt with some sort of emotional manipulation or something that was kind of like, um, you know, kind of picking at you a little bit. And I feel like this is a reminder that you are not the situation. You are not 
whatever someone was telling you that you are. It's like kind of bringing you back to self and remembering who you are um, when before the situation even happened, right? Because maybe you dealt with something that changed you a little bit or made you feel different than how you normally do. Knight of Cups is a reminder that you are still you, even if this happened. So we also have Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So again, there's something about you discovering maybe another aspect of yourself. Maybe Page of Wands is about you now having um, this different direction that you want to go on. Maybe you're feeling motivated or inspired to do something with this story, with this experience, right? You're now um, able to kind of determine what that next step is. Again, you are now, you know, at the liberty to make whatever decision you want to make. Nine of Pentacles, there's a sense of confidence here. There's a sense of self-reliance, knowing that you don't need um, you know, anyone else at this time, like maybe this is about you feeling financially free from something or just feeling free uh, to make financial decisions on your own, right? It's just the ability to do with what you want, um, how you want it. It's just, you know, just total liberty, uh, depending on the self. And then Seven of Cups, it feels like now you have a lot of options. Now you have so many different ways that you can go because you're not bound or restricted by the situation. I feel like this week is about you exploring these options, realizing that now, you know, you have all these different directions that you can go. And, you know, it's just a time to determine what is my next step now that I'm free, now that I'm not in the situation anymore, what am I going to do next? So really you know, kind of uh, healing and exciting at the same time. Definitely an interesting energy, but hopefully you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.